Yo, this is Stahl Krong coming at you with another video. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a rush job today. Unfortunately, I ran into some uh, technical difficulties when trying to create the video I had originally intended to upload today. And as such, I pretty much lost all the time I would have otherwise had to work on the video. So uh, you're going to get this instead today. Uh, hopefully the next few days I'll be uh, actually on track and making videos that are actually somewhat thought through. Speaking of on track, that's what I'm going to be uh, talking about in this video is uh, on track events in World of Tanks. Um, just wanted to go over what an on track event is and how I usually like to play through them. Um, usually about twice a month there will be a new on track event that appears in the game. Uh, this time it's on track to the object 430 and uh, basically what you do is grind an insane amount of experience based on tanks that lead up to this particular tank. So in this case, as you can see in the tech tree, the object 430 is in the Russian lineup. It is a medium tank and if we trace it all the way back here You'll see that I currently have an A43, a T34, and an A20 ready to go in my garage. Um, this is something that I like to do personally. I don't know if everybody plays on track events this way. But uh, I find, especially since I'm a standard account user and don't actually use premium, that having three tanks to uh, cycle between greatly increases the rate of XP that uh, you're able to attain within a shorter amount of time. Um, usually the time constraint is somewhere around, I want to say, 12,000 experience a day in order to actually complete these missions. Um, the objective is basically not to get to the tier 10 tank, because that's almost impossible. I don't think I've ever actually done that during an on-track event. But rather, you want to complete this mission right here called This Track Leads to the Armory. And this will give you a premium tank and a slot in your garage for free upon completing this mission 10 times. So in other words, you need to grind out 250k experience within the time span of about 12 days, basically about two weeks. So you are on a, a pretty tight uh, schedule, as it were. So having these three tanks to juggle between is really, really nice. Um, Usually what I like to do is play them relatively aggressively depending on the map. Try and just get in there, do as much damage as possible. Uh, trade hits, not really play very conservatively whatsoever. Uh, even a little bit recklessly you could say. But uh, just getting in there, trying to do as much damage as quickly as possible. And then as soon as you die, jump out of that game, jump into another tank and do the same rinse and repeat. Then you jump into your next tank, and by the time you're done this game in this tank, your other third tank should probably be out of the battle, at which time you just go and continue the grind. So uh, I think it's a relatively effective strategy. It's worked for me quite a few times. Uh, as you can see, I've done, uh, I did the last on-track event for, uh, I think it was the, what is it called? The ST, STB? I believe, yeah, the STB1. And I've also, uh, done a few other on-track events. I believe this one was from on-track to the... I think it was the E100 that they gave away this tank. But yeah, anyways, not too much else to say about that. Again, sorry about uh, the video being a bit of a rush job today. Uh, still kind of getting into the swing of video making once again. But uh, I think tomorrow I should be back to uh, a more stable and reliable setup. So anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope it was somewhat informative if you are a World of Tanks player. If not, that's cool too, maybe consider trying out the game. Uh, it is kind of difficult to get into and I'll probably go over that in, uh, in another video at some point later on. But yep, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, take it easy.